everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley and I'm an architect in Ontario. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about Bachelor of Architecture degrees within Canada. So there are currently 12 universities in Canada that offer bachelor degrees in architecture. And so I talk about master degrees quite a bit within this channel and I talk about all the different universities and programs available in Canada, but I haven't talked about bachelor degrees. So in this video, by the end of the video, you're going to have an understanding of what those 12 universities are. And we're going to talk about the application requirements, the program length, and also the requirements for the program and the application materials. So if you're interested, let's get started. <laughs> Now, it's important to note that the majority of the bachelor programs within architecture in Canada are not professional degrees. They are pre-professional degrees, but you still, if you are planning to get your license in Canada and become a licensed architect, you need to have a master degree from an accredited university. So by completing these four years, you're not quite done. You still need to do a master's degree, a professional degree from an accredited university. I also wanted to note that if you don't want to do a bachelor in architecture and you still want to get a master in architecture, you could do that. Your options in terms of which master degree programs you can apply to will be a bit limited and you'll have a short list of schools to pick from but that is still an option. You can get a bachelor degree in another type of program and then decide later on that you do wanna do architecture. That's still an option and you can still apply for a master degree. But of course, that's there's only specific, a few programs that do offer the opportunity of doing a master degree which doesn't require a bachelor in architecture. You still have the option, but they are a bit limited in terms of the programs that you can choose from, from the 12 universities that offer master programs. But if you are thinking that you still wanna do a bachelor in architecture, well, let's get into the 12 universities. Number one is University of British Columbia. And this is of course in no particular order, but the University of British Columbia offers a Bachelor of Design in Architecture, Landscape Architecture and Urbanism. The program is a four year program and the program typically starts in the fall term and the fall application deadline is you need to have your application form and fee by January 15 and by February 15, all the other items, so the video interview, the creative test and resume, so the application materials, would be submitted by the February 15. So now let's get into the application materials. You need to have an online application form, an application fee. You need to have a video interview and the deadline for that is February 15. You also need to do a creative test and the deadline is also February 15. Now, if you want more information about what the creative test is, I would recommend checking out the UBC Sala website and I'll include a link down below so that you can get more information about it. And then you also need to have a resume and the deadline for the resume is February 15 as well. And it's a one to two page summary of your experiences and education, work, travel, volunteering, and other relevant areas as well. Now, in terms of the application requirements, your minimum education, there's a set of requirements that you need to meet. If you're getting admission from a secondary school, there are particular admission requirements you need to uh, meet in terms of the courses and in terms of GPA and so on. There are quite a few different um, admission requirements for different situations. So I would definitely recommend to check out the UBC website and I'll include a link down below. And if English is not your first language, you're gonna have to also provide an English proficiency test and the score requirements are also listed on the website. Number two, University of Calgary. Now, University of Calgary has a bit of a different format and how it works is the program length is four years. You would do two years of undergraduate studies and then you would do two years of a minor in architectural studies. And so the term starts in the fall, the application deadlines, they accept applications from October 1st all the way through February 1st. And if you wanna get more information because this is a different format in comparison to all the other universities I'll be talking about in this video, I would check out the website and I have a link down below. And in terms of the application materials, you need to have an online application form and fee. 
you need to have a statement of interest you also need to have a portfolio and transcripts now they do have a set of application requirements in terms of minimum education so you need two years of full-time undergraduate studies at the time of the program start for the minor in architecture and you can apply during your second or third year of studies um, and then for your GPA, you need to have a minimum of a 3.2 GPA on a 4.0 system calculated on the 10 most recent courses or the 30 units. And for transfer student applicants, the cumulative GPA from a previous post-secondary studies will be used. And so if you want to get more information about those requirements, I would recommend checking out the website in the description box down below. And you also need to have English proficiency if English is not your first language. And if you're not sure if you fall under requiring an English proficiency test, I would recommend checking out the website or even getting in contact with the program. Number three, Carleton University. So Carleton University offers a Bachelor of Architectural Studies and they also offer three majors within that study. They offer design, urbanism, conservation, and sustainability. So it's a four year program. It starts in the fall and the fall application deadline is March 1st for the portfolio. The application materials include an online application form, a portfolio, and they have uh, specific requirements. Some of the requirements within that portfolio, you need to include applicant description, a brief CV, and your selected major. So if you're thinking about design, if you're thinking about urbanism and conservation sustainability. So you have to make sure you understand what the differences are between those majors and then select one and make sure you include your selected major in your application description. And then you also need to include a written exercise, a short essay, visual work. And of course, if you want to get more details about each material, uh, application material, I would recommend checking out the website. And if English again is not your first language and your degree was not included, was not completed in English, you may need to have an English proficiency test. And there are scores, minimum scores that you need to meet. And I would check out the website for those. So depending on the major you select, the requirements in terms of education and GPA requirements for admission vary. So definitely check out the website for those requirements. Number four, Dalhousie University. Dalhousie University offers a Bachelor of Environmental Design Studies. The length of the program is two years at Dalhousie Beds, so the Bachelor of Environmental Design Studies. And it's a three to four years and one to two years of courses in any subjects other than architecture at a university. And the uh, term starts in the fall. The ap fall application deadline is March 1st. The application materials include an online application form, an application fee of $70 Canadian, transcripts, digital portfolio of design work, which demonstrates creativity and or artistic skill. Again, requirements for the specific materials you can check on the website, statement of interest, resume, letters of reference, you need two. And again, you may need to do an English proficiency test as well. And so the application requirements for your minimum education, you need two years in a university degree program, uh, 20 courses with a minimum of a 2.5 grade point average, a B minus. So again, the Bachelor of Environmental Design at Dalhousie is kind of laid out a bit similar to Calgary University, where you would do uh, one to two years of courses in any subject other than architecture, and then you would do the two years of the Dalhousie Environmental Studies Design, Environmental Design Studies. And so for those two years in university degree program, you need to have a minimum of a 2.5 grade point average, a B, a B minus average, and you need to include U courses as well. I'm not gonna list them here, but I would recommend to check out the website and I'll include a link down below for more information. Number five, University of Manitoba. So University of Manitoba offers a Bachelor of Environmental Design. The length of the program is three years plus a qualifying year. So you need to do a qualifying year and then a three years. The term starts in the fall. The fall application deadline is April 1st. The application materials include an online application form, an application fee of $100 Canadian for domestic applicants, $120 for international applicants. You need to have transcripts, course outlines, proof of citizenship, 
permanent residence or refugee status. And if English is not your first language or your degree was not completed in English and there's specific requirements, you may need to do an English proficiency test. If you're not sure, I would definitely make sure to check out the website for more details. And there are, of course, application requirements. So for the Bachelor of Environmental Design is an advanced entry program, which means you must complete one year of university level, including several required and recommended courses from a minimum adjusted grade point average of a 2.5 before you can be considered for admission. So make sure to check out the link down below for more information. Number six is McGill University and McGill University offers a Bachelor of Science in Architecture and it's a four-year program I believe I couldn't quite find the information on this website um, the it's a fall entry the application deadline varies quite a bit I couldn't really get a complete list of materials um, but I do have a link down below with all the application requirements that you should look into um, I didn't quite find it very easy to navigate through the website. So just check out the link down below if you do have time and just go through the material if you are interested in McGill University. Number seven, Montreal University. Now Montreal is in Quebec and so the program is in French if that's something you're interested in. It's a Bachelor of Science in Architecture and I'll include a link down below if you would like more information and the website is in French as well. Number eight, Laurentian University and they offer a Bachelor of Architectural Studies. It's a four-year degree. It starts in the fall. The uh, fall application deadline is January 15 and the application materials include an online application form, a portfolio, that demonstrate creativity and skills, a statement of interest, two references. And so if you want further information and details, I would recommend checking out the website and I've included a link down below. And there are minimum education requirements. So depending if you're coming from Ontario or where you're coming from in terms of secondary school or so on, they have specific requirements that you need to meet in terms of GPA and so on. And of course, you may need to do an English proficiency test. So make sure to check that out as well. Number nine, Lavelle University, which is also in Quebec. And it's the degree is a Bachelor of Science in Architecture. And it is also done in French. I'll include a link down below and the website is all in French. So if you're interested, you can check that out down below. Number 10, Ryerson University. And Ryerson University is a Bachelor of Architectural Science. And I actually did my undergrad at Ryerson. It's a four year degree. The term starts in the fall. The fall application deadline, the portfolio is due February 1st or 10 business days from your application submission date, whichever comes later. In terms of the application materials, you need to have a transcript portfolio assessment fee, 50 Canadian dollars. Um, you also need to have an English proficiency test that may apply to you if you're, if you're not sure, I would recommend to check out the website. And you may need to do an application form. I couldn't find that specifically, but I'm pretty sure you may need to do that as well. And in terms of the application requirements, there are minimum education and GPA requirements that you need to meet if, you're, if you are coming from an Ontario secondary school, and so on and so I would recommend and I'll include a link down below of those requirements and you can check that out on the website. Number 11, University of Toronto. University of Toronto offers a Bachelor of Arts and Architectural Studies. It's a four-year degree. The entry term is in the fall and the fall application deadline varies quite a bit and the application materials varies as well. So I would recommend checking out their website and depending on if you want to do a Bachelor of Arts or Architectural Studies, you would have a different set of requirements for that particular program. So I would check out the website in the link down below. Number 12, and this is the last university on the list, is Waterloo University. They offer a Bachelor of Architectural Studies. It's a four-year program. It starts in the fall. The fall application deadline is February 1st for the application. The required documents for architecture is February 18. And in terms of the application materials, they have a two-step process. Uh, stage one is you need to apply via the OUAC by February 1st. And so what they try to do is select everyone based on your grades first. And then if you meet those requirements, you would then move on to stage two, which would be you would receive an email by mid-March with instructions uh, in terms of your portfolio, English writing exercise, 
an interview and a video presentation. So for this first step, you need to apply uh, via the OUAC by February 1st. And for consideration to proceed on to the uh, second stage of the admission process, you need to have an overall average of a low mid 80s and at least a grade of 75%, usually 80% in English and at least a high 70s in physics and then two required mathematics courses and if offered admission a final term mark of at least 70% in the required courses and 75% in English is needed to maintain the offer of admission. It is also recommended that the student take visual arts, history, and other cultural studies courses. And so for stage two, if you meet the educational requirements and the GPA uh, requirements in terms of your grades, you can then move into stage two. So if you're chosen for stage two, then you'll again receive that email mid-March with instructions for your portfolio, writing exercise, um, interview, and video presentation. So these are the 12 Bachelor of Architecture programs available in Canada. So if you want to get more information, more detailed information for each program, and you want to learn more about the program itself, maybe even look at the student work as well, which I definitely recommend, I would check out the links down below in the description box. And if you got value out of the video, make sure to like the video. And if you would like to help the channel, make sure to subscribe and you can do that here. And if you're curious about the top universities within Canada, Canada, I would check out this video here. I hope to see you on the next video. Until then, bye!